Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the specifics of the tank calibration process when installing escort fuel level sensors in the analog mode. First, connect the sensor to your computer via the RS485 USB converter. We recommend using our C200M and cannot guarantee a stable connection with other brands' converters. Now switch the operating mode of the sensor to the analog one. Then you need to calibrate the sensor, in other words, set the full and empty values either with or without fuel. Note that in case of a TD150 sensor, you don't need to change its operating mode at all, as the level readings in the volts are transmitted by the device via the green wire all the time after the sensor has been powered up. After calibrating the sensor, you need to pour at least 10 or better 20 portions of fuel of equal volume into the tank and put down the level readings in volts against the liters or gallons in the tank calibration table. Based on this table, your monitoring platform will be able to convert the level readings of the sensor into liters or gallons. The more portions you add, the more precise will be the conversion. The measuring range of the TD500 sensor is from approximately 0.2 volts to about 5 volts. The range of the TD150 and TD600 sensor is from approximately 0.2 volts to about 9 volts. Important! You need to take the level readings in volts from the tracker's telemetry or, if there is no such option, directly from the platform. After you install this sensor in the tank, connect its analog output to the tracker. For TD500, the orange wire. For TD150, the green wire. For TD600, the white wire. Then connect the tracker to your laptop or get it transmitting the data to the platform. Open the telemetry or the platform on your laptop and start adding the portions. You can create the calibration table in a separate file on your computer, directly on the platform or even on the paper. The voltage readings should be taken from the tracker's telemetry or from the messages on the platform. The process must be done like this because every tracker's input has its own resistance, which affects the final readings sent to the platform. Thus, 2.5 volts on a multimeter become 2.18 volts in the Teltonica's telemetry, for example. If not taken into consideration, this will affect the reliability of the level data you get from the tracker. 